Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got huge stuff along with caution, starting with the new Navi GPU spotted. Non-K Intel CPUs can overclock on these H470 and B460 boards. And is AMD's desktop 4th gen going 5 nanometers plus? I've got an update. But first, if you're not an Amazon Prime member already, they're offering a 30 day free trial right now. So you've got to check this out. Amazon's Prime membership has quite possibly the most benefits of any monthly membership ever. You get their Prime videos for free, Amazon Music without any ads, and free two-day shipping on millions of items. So check that affiliate link out in the description and I'll get a small kickback when you sign up. So thanks for that. Okay, it's new time, man. First up for today, it looks like AMD is bringing Navi to the very entry-level market as a new Radeon GPU just surfaced. The new card was found and shared by resident leaker Komachi, and as you can see, it's the Radeon RX 5300. Last year, we saw a 5300 XT in HP desktops, but we haven't really seen anything since. Unfortunately, there isn't any information on specs, but according to Komachi, this is likely for OEMs only. Of course, it may not be, but it's great to see more budget-friendly cards regardless. Next up for today, ASUS, ASRock, and MSI have effectively enabled overclocking for non-K Intel CPUs on some of their H470 and B460 boards. Well, not technically overclocking per se, they essentially override Intel's 10th gen CPU power states to be quite a bit higher. That means the clocks will still remain within Intel's predefined clocks, but they can maintain them for much longer. Basically, the boost clock can become the base clock, but it won't get any higher than that. As you can see, this definitely affects performance, so it's good for all. Lastly for today, one of the biggest stories in three years just dropped this morning, but there's an update that changes things, yet is still potentially huge. The story was originally published by DigiTimes and later translated by the great retired engineer, and it's been understandably spreading like wildfire. In it, DigiTimes actually claims that they've heard AMD's 4th gen desktop Ryzen CPUs are moving from 7 nanometer EUV to 5 nanometers plus, meaning next gen Zen 3 based CPUs, not 5th gen like AMD's roadmap claims. And it even makes sense of all the previous leaks we've seen on AMD releasing a refreshed 3rd gen Ryzen. It would mean that they didn't wait because of the thing that shall not be named, or even worse, that they didn't feel the need due to Intel's 10th gen release, ultimately holding off instead of giving consumers the best possible product. It would actually mean the opposite. They're waiting to make 4th gen essentially a generation ahead, to make it that much better. According to DigiTimes, TSMC's enhanced 5 nanometer process will enter mass production ahead of schedule in Q4 of this year, and allegedly AMD forked up a lot of money to jumpstart their use of it before Intel moves over to 10 nanometers. So yeah, we're not just talking regular 5 nanometers, but 5 nanometers plus. They also expanded on their recent release expectation of around September to October. This time, AMD is apparently planning to announce it then with the actual release at the end of the year or during CES 2021. Now, with all of that said, there's a pretty important update to this. In a video that's during AMD's presentation at Bernstein's annual Strategic Decisions Conference, Lisa Su was asked about the rumor, but more so about 5 nanometers being accelerated in Zen 4. And this is what she had to say. Of, you know, where we see 5 nanometer, I think 5 nanometer is an important node. Um, it will be you know, one that we will use um, quite heavily in our roadmap. Um, I'm not ready to talk about timing yet, but I will say that Zen 4 is, you know, deep in design and we're very collaborative with TSMC. You know, the way um, to think about it is the, um, the process nodes usually start with mobile and mobile is usually a simpler process um, from the standpoint of, you know, just the, the, the performance it's trying to, uh, trying to get. And, um, and then, you know, we come in with high performance features and um, our collaboration with TSMC has given us uh, a lot of capability in optimizing for high performance. As you heard, she references mobile being the easiest place for a new node. What that could mean is that this report got things a bit mixed up. And to their credit, while DigiTimes is a reputable source, even they claimed it's just a rumor. Basically, this is likely planned for next-gen mobile, which is still a huge deal because mobile used to be behind a node. Now it'll be the same as the upcoming desktop generation, and given it comes out way sooner than desktop, it'll give us a chance to see what the new node can bring. Plus, if it remains on the older architecture just with a better node, this technically is 5 nanometers plus on 4th gen Zen 3. 
Really though, it's tough to say. I've watched the clip multiple times and he wasn't referencing Zen 3, and I think it's odd that AMD didn't fully deny the story since it wouldn't give us any more information than we already have. It would just confirm the roadmaps. Then again, this is such a huge feat that it would mean that they've had this plan for months, and I honestly highly doubt that. Maybe it's for mobile, but she could have been talking mobile phones like from Apple, etc. So it very well could be nothing in the end. I did email my AMD rep and they said that they can't comment on rumors, but that they'd update me if anything changes, and I'll add a comment in the description if that's the case. Unfortunately, if it is for mobile, that would mean desktop Ryzen 4000 is still likely on 7 nanometers. But one can dream, right? Right? So while that does it for today, I really hate to crush everyone's hopes about desktop Ryzen 4000, but I thought it was good to go over the update. Of course, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.